Ever find yourself in an awkward pose for a selfie you never signed up for? That's our first sign, folks. Welcome to the world of selfie syndrome. It's a place where you're more likely to be behind the camera than in front of it, more likely to be capturing memories than living them. Picture this. You're on a romantic date, the sun is setting, and instead of a gentle kiss, you're handed a phone to snap the perfect sunset silhouette for your partner's followers. Or perhaps you found yourself in the middle of a fantastic laugh, only to be interrupted by your partner's request for a quick pic. If you feel like you're living in a constant photo op rather than a relationship, then my friends, you've got yourself a case of the selfie syndrome. So, if you're more of a personal photographer than a partner, you might just be in the selfie syndrome. Ever felt like you're there, but not really there? Welcome to the world of the invisible plus one. You know, it's that uncanny feeling when you're at a social event with your partner, but you might as well be a potted plant. They're all smiles, hobnobbing with everyone else, and there you are. As important as the wallpaper. Let me paint you a picture. Imagine being Sam who was so ignored at his girlfriend's office party that someone actually hung their coat on him, mistaking him for a coat rack. Now that's a wake-up call, isn't it? It's like you're only needed when it's time to leave or when your partner needs a ride home. If you're more a coat rack than a companion, it's time to reassess. Ever been in a relationship with a magician? You know, they're there one minute and then poof. Welcome to the world of the ghost of folks. This is the partner that's more elusive than a chameleon in a bag of Skittles. They're the person who seems to be there for you, but only when it's convenient for them. Here's a story for you. Meet Sam. Sam's partner Alex is a real Casper, happy to chat when they need a ride from the airport or a plus one for a work event. But when Sam needs a shoulder to lean on, Alex is suddenly more elusive than the Loch Ness Monster. Being ghosted intermittently by a partner isn't just frustrating, it's a sign that you're being used. A relationship should be about give and take, not hide and seek. So, if your partner pulls a Houdini on you more often than not, you might just be dealing with a ghoster. Ever felt like your wallet is more attractive to your partner than your personality? Welcome to the world of the ATM machine. It's a bizarre place where love is measured in pounds, dollars, or whatever currency you're dealing with. Imagine this. You have a friend named Joe. Joe is a great guy. But he has a partner who seems to have a sixth sense for when payday rolls around. Suddenly Joe gets texts, calls, even surprise visits. But the moment Joe's bank balance dips, so does his partner's interest. It's as if Joe's become an ATM, dispensing cash instead of love and affection. Now, we're not saying that helping out financially is a bad thing. But when you're only seen as a source of funds, well, that's not love. That's just being used. If you're more of a bank than a boyfriend or girlfriend, you might just be an ATM machine in this relationship. Ever found yourself being the knight in shining armor, but only when there's a crisis? Ah, the classic case of the emergency contact. It's like being a superhero minus the cool outfit and the admiration. Imagine you're Sam. You've got a friend. Let's call her Emily. Emily calls you when her car breaks down, when she can't find her cat, or when she needs someone to talk to after a bad date. But when life is smooth sailing, Emily is nowhere to be found. Not a text, not a call, not even a meme shared on social media. You see, being an emergency contact is like being a fire extinguisher encased in glass. Useful during emergencies, but otherwise left on the shelf collecting dust. You're there to douse the flames, not to bask in the warm glow of a relationship. So if you're more of a rescue service than a romantic partner, you might just be the emergency contact. Ever had a date night that felt more like a monologue than a dialogue? Welcome to the world of one-sided date nights, where you're more of an audience member than a participant. Picture this. You're at a fancy restaurant, candlelight flickering, music playing softly in the background. But instead of a romantic tete-a-tete, -tete, you're treated to a one-man performance of The Chronicles of My Day at Work. Your partner is so engrossed in their own narrative, you might as well be a potted plant. You nod, smile, and make all the right noises, but it's like trying to get a word in edgeways with a runaway train. And when you do manage to segue into a topic you're interested in, they suddenly develop an intense fascination with their food. It's like playing ping pong with a brick wall. If your date nights feel more like a one-man show than a duet, you might just be in a one-sided relationship. 
Ever had a partner who's there for the good times, but disappears when the going gets tough? A fair-weather friend, as they're often called, is all sunshine and rainbows when life's a beach party, but the moment a storm rolls in, they're nowhere to be found. Let's paint a picture here. Imagine you've just landed a great new job, and your partner is all over you, celebrating, sharing the good news. But fast forward a couple of weeks, you've had a rough day, and you need someone to lean on. Suddenly they're too busy, too tired, or just too something to be there for you. This, my friends, is classic fair weather behavior. They're there for the laughs, the fun, the good times, but when it comes to the nitty gritty, the tough times, they're as elusive as a chameleon in a rainbow. If you're more of a party pal than a partner in crime, you might just be dealing with a fair weather friend. Ever been expected to know exactly what your partner wants without them saying a word? Welcome to the eighth sign, the Mind Readers Anonymous. You see, communication is the backbone of any healthy relationship. Yet some people seem to think it's more of a game of charades. Let's consider our friend Bob. Bob's partner, Alice, always expects him to know what she wants, whether it's picking the right movie for a night in or remembering that she prefers her coffee with just a dash of milk. Alice never communicates her wants or needs, and when Bob inevitably gets it wrong, she gets upset. Now, Bob isn't a mind reader. He's just a guy who's trying his best. But he's left feeling like he's constantly failing because Alice refuses to communicate her needs. So, if you're expected to be a mind reader more than a mutual communicator, you might just be in the Mind Readers Anonymous Club. Ever felt like your relationship is a one-way street with no U-turn in sight? Now imagine this. You're on a never-ending road trip. But here's the catch. You're not the one at the wheel. Your partner is. They decide the speed, the direction, even the music on the radio. You're just along for the ride. Your needs taking a back seat. Let's take our friend. Let's call him Bob. Bob is always bending over backwards to meet his partner's needs, even when it's inconvenient for him. He's the one making sacrifices, adjusting his schedule and always accommodating. But when it's his turn to ask for something, it's met with resistance. Sounds familiar? This is the classic one-way street situation. You're driving full speed ahead, but you're not getting anywhere. It's all give and no take. All about them and hardly ever about you. If you're stuck on a one-way street with no exit in sight, it might be time to consider a detour. Before we dive into the last sign, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons if you're enjoying this video. Engaging with our content not only helps us create more of what you love, but it also ensures you never miss a beat. Whether it's decoding the mysteries of love or navigating life's complexities, we're here to help. So smash that like button, tap subscribe, and let's keep this conversation going. Now, let's unveil our final sign. Ever felt like you're locked out of your partner's inner circle? Let's dive into the murky waters of the inner circle exile. In the realm of relationships, getting to know your partner's friends and family is a milestone. It's like a secret society and you've just been handed the golden key. But what happens when the door to this society remains stubbornly locked? You're left out in the cold, shivering and wondering if the doorman lost your invitation. Picture this. There's a big family gathering, and everyone's invited, even the neighbor's cat. But you? You're at home, watering your lonely cactus. That's the inner circle exile. It's like you're a ghost, floating around the edges of their life, but never quite solidifying into a real presence. So, if you're more of an outsider than an insider in your partner's life, you might just be experiencing the inner circle exile. Well, there you have it, folks. Ten signs that you might be used not loved, from the selfie syndrome to the inner circle exile, these are clear indicators that something might be amiss. Love is about mutual respect, shared experiences and equal give and take. If you're constantly left feeling like a one-way street, it might be time to reassess. Don't forget, you're not an ATM machine or a fair weather friend. Remember, everyone deserves to be loved, not used, so don't settle for anything less. Thanks for joining us today in this enlightening and hopefully entertaining journey. If you found our guide helpful, don't keep it to yourself. Pass it on to friends who may also benefit from these insights. And of course, if you want more of our witty wisdom, do hit that subscribe button. We're dishing out new content regularly, tailored to help you navigate life's tricky terrains. Until next time, 
Take care and remember, you're worth more than you think. Savored this video, fancy another? Click the on-screen video for an even deeper dive into fresh territory. Your support is like a warm cuppa on a brisk day. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, ring that bell for the latest content. Cheers for watching.